In this video, I'm going to look at some of the AI tools that have been added to Canva. Some of these tools are free and some require you to subscribe to their Canva Pro account. Let's check them out. This is my Canva homepage. Let me start by creating a new design. Click on create a design. We can choose any design size, but I will go with Facebook post. I will set the background for this design to blue. The first set of AI tools is used for image editing. Let's place an image onto our design. Go to uploads, select an image. I'll resize it a bit. Click on edit photo and we get access to three photo editing tools. Background remover, magic eraser and magic edit. The small crown symbol indicates that this tool is available only for Canva Pro users. Since my image is already selected, let me click on BG Remover. And magically, Canva has removed the background and kept only the portrait. If you don't have access to Canva Pro, you can achieve similar results using a free tool called Remove.BG. Link is in the video description. Let's see what happens when we give this AI tool a complex image to remove the background. I will select this group photo and see if AI can remove everything except the people. Edit Photo BG Remover. It has done an amazing job of identifying only the people and removing everything else. There is a small inaccuracy over here. Let's see how we can fix it. Click here which says Configure and now we have two options Erase and Restore. So since the erase is selected, I can come here and remove this part. If I make a mistake, I can always click on restore and then restore the parts that I accidentally erased. If you wanted to reveal other parts of the image, click restore and you can see that we can restore any part of the image or erase any part of the image. And we are done. This is a great time saving tool. The next AI tool I want to explore is the magic eraser. Let me try a different image and let's see what Magic Erase can do for us. Click on Edit Photo, click Magic Eraser. You can increase or decrease the brush size. And let's say I want to remove these items from the photo. Just select it. Voila, it's gone. I can do the same for the suitcase. And it has magically removed the suitcase. And the third tool for photo editing is called Magic Edit. Click on it. Notice that for each photo, you can use any one of the tool, but not combine them. I will revert the work done by the magic eraser and switch to magic edit. Magic edit is like the generative fill feature available in Photoshop. How does it work? Let me brush over these objects. And this time, instead of removing them, I want to replace them with something. Click on continue. You can describe exactly what you want to place in that area. I will type a colorful flower vase. Generate. You are given four choices. You can cycle through them and select the one that you like the best. If you don't like any of the four results, you can ask it to generate new results. I think I'll go with this and done. While we are on the topic of images, Canva has an interesting tool that can generate images for you from a text prompt. This is similar to popular tools like Mid Journey that have taken the world by storm. I'll start by removing my image. To access the text to image tool, scroll down till you find apps. And one of the apps that is free to use is this one called text to image. Click on it. My experience with this tool is that it is not at the same level as Mid Journey, but it does a pretty good job. Let me start by describing what I want. My prompt is a lush green forest with small river passing through. Background is snow capped mountains. Let's see what Canva can conjure from this prompt. Click on create your image and it gives me four choices. I can click on them and see which one I like. I think I will go with the last one and delete the rest. And that is my AI generated image. Looks very good. For the next AI tool, let me change my design to a presentation. Click on home and select create a design. In the search box, type presentation. And I'm going to go with the presentation with a 16 by nine aspect ratio. Click on it. Let's change our background this time to maroon. Let's assume we are creating a PowerPoint presentation 
on a topic. Emotional intelligence, for example. If I click on this button on the bottom right corner called Canva Assistant, you get two options for designing your presentations. One is called Magic Design and one is called Magic Write. Let's try the Magic Design first. Click on it. Describe what is it that you are trying to present. Let's say my prompt is highlight five key benefits of emotional intelligence. Press enter. It starts creating a presentation. You can choose different template styles. Let's go with uh, this one. We can see it has already created an entire presentation for us on the topic of emotional intelligence. Definition, the benefits, and a conclusion. Click on create my presentation and we have a professional looking presentation that has been created in a few seconds. Let me add one more slide to this presentation by clicking on plus and we will try the other AI tool which is called Magic Write. Let me type my prompt. The prompt is three steps to improve our emotional intelligence. Click generate. And just like that, it has given us the content that we can add in the slide. I can resize it, increase the font, and we have AI generated content in our slide. So Canva can create an entire presentation for you or give you the right text that you can embed in each slide. So those are some of the AI tools that are available in Canva. Have you tried them all? If I have missed any tool, please leave a comment in the video description and I will look into it. If you found the video useful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because it motivates me to create more content like this.